people welcome back to my channel another day another ride guess where we are right now this is murgan idli hotel and we are on our way to kodai kodai canal another long ride planned today is the tuesday 31st of january last day of jan the first month of 2023 and it's an exciting year my third trip already this year most i'm seen my earlier vlogs one was in the car one was on my expulse and right now on the at doing a long ride hopefully we're going to cover the entire south part of india so if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button stay tuned as we explore the south part of india so we had breakfast at this burgan idli shop nice idlis thanks for us too so we're off from here back to the highway heading towards kodai and it's just the two of us riding today that is deepak gowda on his uh, bmw gs 1250 rally hp edition and i'm of course on my africa twin this is krishnagiri tamil nadu beautiful landscape in krishnagiri lot of hills greenery we just stopped here for some coffee and tea and go to selam uh, we are about uh, 200 odd kilometers from gurai uh, and the time right now it's uh, i think 8:30 am there was a quick tea break and we're back on the highway again just a few hundred kilometers from selam this is the k2k road sun is still not up as it completely it's very cloudy beautiful tamil nadu roads so like i said is just the two of us riding today deepak gowda on his gs and me on my 80 and uh, we don't have a very definite plan plan to ride to coimbatore sorry uh, pondi uh, anushkodi and then kanyakumari on the way we, pl- we thought we'll stay over at kodai since the weather should be by very conducive and cool but actually the whole route the weather seems very cool very cloudy unlike the usual tamil nadu weather ah. already done with three breaks since morning We are still maintaining a good pace. Uh, we covered about uh, 200 kilometers in uh, two and a half hours. Good pace. So Salem is 47 kilometers, less than 100. Metro 46, Dindi Gal 229, Kochi is 424. We're not touching Kochi anywhere. That's right from uh, Trishur. I mean, uh, from Paimbatur. I think we take a right. So, also follow me on uh, social media. Instagram handle is DJ Manit, and my Facebook fan page also is DJ Manit. You can get all the latest updates of all my uh, rides and uh, other videos. Would love to see your comment on my uh, videos to get a feedback on what you feel about it. 
lot of the forest area. The speed limit is supposed to be 30 kilometers here. We are doing 80, 90. <laughs> I hope we don't get captured by some camera. Very scenic and beautiful area. Just before Salem. A lot of guards and forest area. Salem is a very busy business town, industrial area. And it's a connection to the entire south in Tamil Nadu. You're going much further south, you're going to Kerala, you're going to even uh, Chennai. It's a central location. It's a beautiful western guards in Tamil Nadu. Western Ghats continue all the way from uh, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. So it's all part of the Western Ghat range, this mountain. Sun is up. Not fully bright because of the clouds. But it is definitely up. <laughs> it's always so much fun to ride in Tamil Nadu. Beautiful roads, lot of green rain, scenic area. And definitely very friendly people in Tamil Nadu. Good food, especially good veg food. Madurai is 251 and Salem is 34. This beautiful river is actually the Kaveri River from Karnataka, the mighty Kaveri, which reaches the ocean in Tamil Nadu, starts from Madikeri. Hope you like the drone shots. What we took here as the journey continues towards the mountains today. Good amount of water on this part of the river. It's been raining well this year, I mean last year. So the Kaveri looks full. I'd come here a few years back, did the entire Kaveri ride from Kaveri start to Kaveri hitting the seas. A lot of places I saw it was completely dry. Absolutely no water or very little water, like a stream. But this year it looks so much fuller. A lot of bridges have been shooting on my rides and drives. The Ganga River. Kaveri is always mighty, like the Ganges. kilometers from Madurai. Madurai is famous for the Meenakshi temple, Madurai Meenakshi. Lot of hills around, greenery everywhere. Beautiful roads, newly laid. Tamil Nadu is always awesome to ride. So, 
we seem to have uh, overshot a bit so we're going to take a u turn and go back about 3 kilometers uh riding fast when i didn't see the right turn i didn't see the map actually i thought it's just one straight road about 80 kilometers from uh, Kodai Canal the Kodai Hills So we are at the foothills of Kodai, the mountains, the hills and we are going to start the ascent from here, climb up, just stop for a tender coconut. So we are on the ascent, we started our climb towards the Kodai summit on top. The hairpin has not started, the slow ascent. And uh, we have Deepak ahead of me on his GS. He's a very aggressive rider. He's done a lot of track days. So check out that huge mountains. That is Kodai Canal for you people. Hills. So the hairpins are starting from here. Kodai Kinal Wildlife Sanctuary welcomes you. Forty six kilometers of climb. I think that's more than OT. Peri Jam Lake. I always just think it's Peri Jam. It's Peri Jam Lake. Gothu. So Peri Jam Lake is before Kodai, I think. It's 37. Kodai is 42. Seven kilometers before they reach the town. Probably. This feels like Nandi Hills. The initial start of the climb. Gradual ascent. Roads in Tamil Nadu are very well maintained across the state. Beautiful, the Rocky Mountains. Kodai Torino <laughs> I remember Torino when I was a kid Not been seeing it much in Bangalore but here they are doing some branding So we are just about 15 kilometers from Kodai. We just stopped at this waterfall. Uh, I'm not sure what's the name of this waterfall, but it's a beautiful waterfall. It's 
it's about uh, another 6 kilometers to reach kodai just before the town this is thick forest all around lot of shops selling quick snacks maggi noodles fruits and mango stuff like that it's been long time since i came to kodai i think when i was in uh, school i remember coming last with my parents never come on my own this is the first time probably i'm coming on my own in a bike tamara i heard is a good resort in uh, kodai but we are not staying in tamara the weather is getting chill as we climb up the uh, outside temperature is 23 degrees and the time right now it's just 1:30 pm in the afternoon and the temperature is already 23 it's like evenings in bangalore it's in the mid afternoon here but the breeze feels much more chiller than 23 it's chill not pleasant it's actually chill chill afternoon non oven ca- carry bags beautiful kodai uh lake it's as if it's in the road itself it's so close and so high they are raising the walls i think well we've reached our uh, resort this is the udis resort in uh, kodai here is a walk around of our resort hope you like the drone shots of the resort uh this is udis re- resort here in kodai very cold uh, temperatures right now it's around 12 13 degrees chill and still it's around 3:30 in the afternoon so night should be really really cold so we're going to just chill here after after a tiring day of riding and uh, that's the room behind us behind the bikes So if you do like the video give me a thumbs up also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get all the latest updates of all my videos uh that's the end of uh, day 1 of this 
journey to Kanyakumari and beyond. This is exploring the southern peninsula of India. Stay tuned for day two. Uh, until tomorrow, it's ciao, adios and goodbye.